Hi there, welcome to Lad Mix Farm channel. My name is Arthur Kubito. Uh, in today's episode, uh, we are going to look at how to make uh, organic liquid fertilizer. Uh, most of the times we do realize most farmers go out there to look for fertilizers in shops, but most of these fertilizers are inorganic and they have a harmful effect on the soil in the long run. So how are we going to reduce this challenge? We are going to learn how to make our own organic liquid fertilizer, which you can apply in your garden at home, but also be able to increase uh, yield production while at the same time maintaining good soil health. We are going to need a number of components that we shall be able to use. A 240 liter drum. This is going to help us hold all these components together and have a sack, a sack that is going to act as our bio tea bag. In this, bar, in this sack is where we shall put the different components to be able to generate the organic liquid fertilizer. 20 liters uh, of urine. Now this urine can either be cow urine, it can be rabbit urine or human urine. On our farm here, we are going to be able to use human urine that we've been able to collect over time and pour it in the drum. Next, you are going to uh, get tithonia. Tithonia sometimes uh, referred to as uh, Mexican sunflower. Um, young uh, or good leaves of uh, tithonia, 20 kilograms and chop them together and put them in this sack. Then next, cow dung. Cow dung or goat dung. Preferably this should be fresh. Uh, remember we shall be giving it ample time uh, to mature. So once we get uh, 20 kilograms, we shall also add this into this uh, bio tea bag. A third, we are going to need five kilograms of ash and also add that in the sack. Next, uh, we shall need five kilograms of charcoal dust and mix that in the same sack as well. Then we shall get a uh, bitter leaf or tobacco leaves. These are very, very uh, essential uh, in providing that uh, smell and they're very good at repelling insects. But when you look at the uh, tithonia, has a lot of nutrients in it, actually. Uh, all the ingredients like nitrogen, phosphorus, calcium, potassium are all into this weed called tithonia. It's very rich. Uh, the urine uh, gives us nitrogen. Uh, the ash gives us potassium. And the charcoal dust gives us uh, the phosphorus. While we mention all these, you realize that still you'll find, you'll find that all these elements have micronutrients that are also very essential like boron, zinc, and so forth. So if we can get a cup of chili and then be able to add it in there. So when we finish, we'll be able to get this sack and tie it uh, tight and place it into this drum. Remember we put in 20 liters of human urine. Now we are going to get eight jerry cans, uh, each having 20 liters of water and add in there. Then we shall stir this together and place it in a cool area. It can either be under a tree, it can either be on the veranda where it's not going to be disorganized. But let's remember to open it every day for the next two weeks. You open it in the morning and stir. When you realize, uh, once you put all these components, there will still be some space left. This will help the, um, the gases uh, to, to, to come out of this product. So when you open it, you release the gas and stir a bit and cover it. You do it in the morning and evening for the next two weeks. Thereafter, you get uh, this cover of the drum and seal this drum and leave it intact for the next, for again, more two weeks which gives us four weeks in total, uh, giving us one month. And after one month, our bio tea, or what we call the organic liquid fertilizer, is now ready. We'll go ahead now and remove uh, this sack, squeeze it uh, to make sure that all the liquids remain in the drum. Now, these residues are also very key. Remember, they were the ones that helped us uh, form uh, this organic liquid fertilizer. You'll just take all that residue and put it either on a stool of bananas or under a tree around the, uh, um, the, the tree stem uh, so that it can also provide um, the fertilizer. But now this liquid fertilizer, remember by now we shall be having around eight on or nine uh, jerry cans and in apply, applying it to the field we shall be applying it in the ratios of one uh, mm. uh, jerry can, one 120 liter jerry can to another 20 liter jerry can of water uh, on the ratio of one to one and then you'll be able to put that in a spray 
and go ahead and spray your crops. It can act as foliar fertilizer. Very good for people who are engaged in vegetables, very good for people who are engaged in fruit trees uh, and all these other high value crops. But you can also go ahead and maybe get uh, five liters or three liters and drench around your banana stool or at the base of your, of your, of your mango tree, uh, fruit tree, it could be avocado tree and so forth. You will see the difference in a month or so. The tea, it will become very, uh, you'll see visible changes uh, on the plant and you'll be able to see increased yield. Now these, all these uh, act as repellent for insects. So for those crops where you feel you're going to need, where insects are a menace and you want it to be stronger in repelling, make sure that you include, include the bitter leaf, uh, the chili and the tobacco leaves. This will be able to help you um, ward off uh, these insects and at the same time maintain good health, increase crop production and good food that is healthy for society. Um, please feel free to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed before uh, on our YouTube channel uh, and if you have been here before please press the notification button so that we can be able to journey together. We'll be bringing you most of this information as we as we try and improve on our farming practices. We'll be of course looking at both animal and the crop production, but also visiting uh, different farmers out there, uh, different like-minded people, and seeing what they do, and bring this information to you, so that we can all benefit one another. Thank you very much.